What we're going to do is create a PHP file that links successfully to a MySQL database and we're going to be using MySQL I as the connection code. In this particular case, I have a user called MRI. It has a password of password, so that's already in play. We're going to create a brand new database. We will call this test MySQLI. We'll click on create. From here, we'll just create a user table. Click on create. We will use an ID, which we turn into an auto incrementing primary key. And then we will just put in a name. And this will be a varchar of 200 and save from there. So what this basically means is we've now got a database table inside our database of which can handle user information. Next, what we want to do is we want to load up Visual Studio Code in our htdocs folder. As you can see from here, I have Apache running and MySQL running. I'm going to create my index page. Then I'm going to click here in the root folder, click on the plus, create a functions folder. And inside my functions folder, I'm going to put a functions.php. This exists so we can put all of our functions in the one area. So when we need to fix anything that might be broken, we have the one location to look into. So what we're looking at doing is we're going to create a function called dblink. Notice how it's inside the PHP tags here, and this is the core structure of it. So from here, what we do now is we create variables to handle the information. So here is my DB. Then I'm going to have my DB user. I'll have the database password. Now, our database was test my SQLI, our user is MRI, and our password is password. Whenever you're doing something with MySQLI, if you create a link like this and you use it for a different website, you can just change these three variables and everything else will just work. What we're looking at now is a line that basically goes dollar sign MySQLI. So this is our connection code equals new MySQL I bracket. Inside here, we can put in the local host. So we could have turned this into a variable. We just didn't this time around. And here we're going to put in the database user, followed by the database password, and the database we're connecting to. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to check to see if there's a problem with the connection. Now, in this case, we go from MySQLI, connect, underscore, or no. Okay, so if this actually happens, that should be a dollar sign MySQL, by the way. All right, so if this happens, it means there was an error. Then what we want to do is we basically want to tell the end user. So we can go failed to connect. And then here, put a space like that. And we'll go with dollar sign, MySQL I, and then we'll produce the error for it. Connect underscore error. And then we'll exit the code cleanly from there. And then here, we'll return dollar sign, MySQL I. So, what the code does is this is the authentication material. Here we create our connection. This tells us whether or not anything fails and we return a connection if it exists. So we'll save that on our index page. Just connect to the functions page. So we do that with an include once. So functions slash functions dot PHP. Remember to end with semicolons. Let's go dollar sign db connect is assigned. So this is going to capture the output from db link. And then here we can 
test db connect so if db connect and some curly braces we'll go echo connection established so if we see this on the page it means that it's worked so we'll save that we'll go into our browser we'll refresh connection established we've now made it a connection to our system but what we want to do is we want to turn this into a HTML comment as such by adding in these uh, extra characters jump over to here refresh the page we don't see the code if we view page source it's supplied in there and that is how we connect using MySQLi.